question was simple he said when it say give me the scripture where the Lord said the mark of his hand on his forehead the question the brother asks is whether that the mark he was told the mark of the beast is a mindset and that is correct any anybody that's been and this has been taught especially by white people that because of course they carnal and not spiritual they've been teaching for years that the mark of the beast is the social security mark of the beast is the chip mark of the beast is the smart uh, 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 credit card they're going to give you the mark of the beast is this file the mark of the beast is that you know what I mean it's going to be the number the number that they gave the so called Jew in the Nazi concentration camps none of those is the mark of the beast all of those is part of the mark of the animal that, that reigns in this place man the mark of the beast is democracy man the mark of the beast is Roman Catholicism. The mark of the beast is the mindset to serve Satan, man. That is the mark of the beast. You understand? You ready? Tell them where you at. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, or above that. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And this image of the beast that it's talking about. It's Cecil Bozier. That's the image of the beast. He gave power to that image because he made he raised that image up like the Roman Catholic Church, man. He raised him up like he was Christ, like he was a god. To this day, we throw that picture on the ground and people gasp like you didn't put Jesus on the ground. When he's the devil that had nothing to do with Christ and was given power, we don't, that the image of the beast should both speak. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. As many as would not worship the image of the beast would be killed. You don't worship the image of that beast, meaning you don't join democracy, you don't join Roman Catholicism, which includes Christianity, and it includes Islam. Don't think Islam ain't part of that. Islam is part of the mark of the beast, man. Y'all act like Islam is a separate black religion. Islam is part of the mark of the beast. All these marks of the beast is a religion of world domination. You think the white man give a damn whether he rules the world under Islam or Christianity? He don't give a damn. He just want to rule. But the Lord is not letting him rule because he is not going to rule this earth. Christ is going to rule the earth. Read. Verse 16. He... And he calls his own, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And when it says he calls them to receive this mark in their right hand and in their forehead, it don't mean that they actually put a mark in your hand and your forehead. You'll be waiting for Christ's return if you're looking for somebody to write a tattoo on your forehead or on your right hand. That ain't gonna never happen. Okay? What it's talking about is you up the philosophy of this empire with your right hand, meaning with your strength, you join his military, you fight for his empire, or in your forehead, meaning in your mind. You take on this spirit in your mind, and then you stand up and fight for it. Just like the Negro stood up in that church, in that church, what's the name of that church, in that, that side of my, that child left Eddie Law was in? New Birth Baptist Church. When you saw them 25,000 black people stand up in New Birth Baptist Church and cheer for a child molester that molested boys, you watched and witnessed people that took on the mark of the beast in their forehead and in their right hand. That's what you saw. And that's what I'm talking about. So to answer the brother's question, that is 100% correct. You put that mark in your forehead and in your hand, meaning you join this man's military. You go fighting in his wars. You join his police force. You join in his, his prison system. You join in the systems, remember, you join in the systems that you need to destroy to uphold this empire. Then guess what? You taking on that mark. 
you have become a part of that mark. Revelation 11 and 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And that same hour was an earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. Go ahead. And in the earthquake were slain of the of men seven thousand. So the Lord is trying to show you, so the Lord is trying to show you that he is going to destroy this place but pulling you out first. You will be caught up into the cloud with the Lord to set up the kingdom of heaven, man. You will be so what the hell are you worrying about a goddamn welfare card from when you about to go up to heaven with the Lord? You think the Lord give a damn about a smart card the white man make? The Lord give a damn about what philosophy you believe in. He give a damn about what God you serve. That's, right. That's why he said, let there be no gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's the mark of the beast that the Lord is talking about. He ain't talking about no goddamn smart card or no credit card or welfare card. When he gonna catch you up in the air with him. What the hell he care about that for? That's right. So simple, man. Don't know your head from a hole in the ground. That's why some of you need to be in classes, man. Hello, Carlo. Hello. Yeah, is this you again, Simple? Who's this? <laughs> oh, you. You. Oh, you got another question. You ain't get no. You. You. You ain't get straight on the first question, but yet. But you ain't get straight on the first question, but you got another question. You ain't get straight on the first question, but you got another question, huh? Huh? If you don't call and try to try to battle, be respectful, or you get stepped on. Cause you ain't dealing with no novices here, man. You ain't dealing with no greenhorns, man. All right, go from there uh, and get me um, get me Psalms 166, 166 Psalms 36 verse, man. One in every three African is down there in South Africa raping like a like a mother. I'm sorry, did I get that right? Psalms 106, I should I meant. Psalms 106. That's what I meant. My bad. Psalms 106. Okay. And so give me 22 first. Psalms 106 verse 22. Wondrous works in the land of Ham. Wonderous works in the land of Ham. Go ahead. And terrible things by the Red Sea. And terrible things by the Red Sea. That's us. Wonderful things going on in the land of Ham. And terrible myths by the Red Sea. Read. Therefore he said that he would destroy them. Therefore he said he would destroy them. Read. Had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach. Right, meaning Moses, the Moses had to stop us because we would have went and joined them Africans. We would have went back to Egypt, man. That's what them candy cane niggas tried to do. They tried to go back to Egypt, back to America, back to the world. They took on the mark of the beast for that dumbass nigga in California. They got the mark of the beast because they trying to join America, trying to create a Christian-like Hebrew-Israelite group. Anybody out there trying to create a Christian-like Hebrew-Israelite group, you are taking on the mark of the beast. You trying to be part of the world. That's what you trying to do. You trying to join the world. Read To turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. To turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Meaning we were trying to join Ham. We were looking at the land of Ham with splendor. But, land, but the Lord's land, we was going to let it die. And you niggas sitting up there with that conspiracy theory garbage, you getting ready to take on the mark of the beast. Because you ain't, you going to forget, you going to run from getting the damn smart car and run right into the hands of the white man. You can be worried about the welfare card, but in the hands of the white man. And so dumb and stupid, you let niggas starve rather than get the damn welfare card because you think they taking on the mark of the beast. Use a, use a Glenn Beck junkie. Use a goddamn Alex Jones groupie. You're a goddamn groupie, nigga. Ain't learning original scripture in your life. Read Verse 24, yea, they despise the pleasant land. They despise the Lord's land, which is the pleasant land. They despise that land, which is us. Worrying about the white man. Instead of worrying about the white man, worry about that nigga with that gun in your ghetto. I ain't worrying about no goddamn smart card. White man want to track every, every DNA of mine, I could give a damn. 
I'm worried about you crazy niggas running around with guns killing every black man, woman, and child in the goddamn ghetto. That's right. Nigga don't even know what to damn stand up for. Mm. We can't get the smart card. We can't get this taboo shooting up the whole neighborhood selling crack to your grandmama. You worried about the goddamn smart car. Well, I'll be. Well, let's all get rid of the smart car. Who, who the fuck gonna get rid of taboo? Yes, them of the art of a pagan. The children of the art of a lion, I know. Evil and move with Satan Righteous trod in the countenance of the Almighty One Them of the heart of demons The children of the heart of a lion I know Evil and move with Satan Righteous walk in the countenance of the Almighty One Poor people see hostility rising daily Ignorant multiply brutality We I see that they run gone left mommy If you struggle they are road with five beginning How I see baby having baby Nothing that happen no do not